What's good, what's good, what's good, YouTube? This your boy, Rock Wallace of Florida. <laughs> nah, man, we're actually, um, I'm actually going out right now to get some Starbucks. So we're backing out right now, me and Axel, my little buddy over here. And uh, we're going to go get some Starbucks, you guys. So uh, stay tuned. So yeah, today we're just rolling around, having a little bit of a good time. Um, it looks like they're doing some work on the power lines. And we're gonna go get some Starbucks. And after Starbucks, I gotta pick up my um, my five-year-old from BPK. And then we're gonna call it. What do we call it today? Right, Axel? And as you can see, I got my, my companion here, Axel, sitting right here next to me, resting his little head. And uh, today's a real nice day here in Florida. It's about, what's the temperature? Once I back out here, I'll be able to see it. Let's see what the temperature is. It is uh, 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice warm day. Nice sunny day here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, again, got my buddy over here, Axel. And uh, we're going to go and stop and get some Starbucks real quick. And then picking my son at VPK. So yeah, um, this lovely guy right here, he's six months old. As of this month, he'll be seven months in February. Growing steadily. Um, Axel is about 85 pounds now. I think he's coming close to 90 pounds. So he's eating very well. I got him on a high protein diet. Um, I do give him, of course, some carbs and stuff like that, but I keep the carbs minimal I don't want to fatten them up so I want him to stay as muscular as he possibly can stay so that's that's one thing that I'm very very um, I pay attention to because I definitely want him to be healthy and um, live a long and lavish life right right Axel so we're pulling up the Starbucks here his favorite thing to get you guys is the pup cup he actually goes insane when he gets that pup cup, it is like, huh, right, Axel? As soon as he sees that pup cup, he pops right up, jumps up, and the rest is history. The rest is history. So, pull up right here, real quick, and uh, let's see here. Uh huh. Da, 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 da. So, I normally get uh, Trente Mango Dragon Fruit Lemonade Light Ice. That is the best drink. I'm telling you guys right now. If you want a nice refresher from Starbucks, check out the refreshers, the strawberry, the mango, dragon fruit, the black tea with lemonade, man, it's lovely, I love it. Anyway, let me go ahead and make sure I have some money on my uh, Starbucks card. And yeah, the people, by the way, they love Axel over here. Oh, you popped up there, huh, Axel? Huh? You popped up. He knows what the deal is. He knows where he's at. He knows he's about to get some good pup cup food. Can I give her to some Starbucks? What can I get for you today? Yeah, let me get a uh, Trente Mango Dragon Fruit with Lemonade Light Ice. All right, what type? Uh, Trente or Vente? Trenta? Trenta? Yeah, Trente, yeah. All right, Mango Dragon Fruit Lemonade. Anything else for you? Yeah, let me also get a uh, turkey bacon and cheddar. And for you? yeah, and then let me get a pup cup and uh, a water. And the water, what size? Uh, let me get a medium. Okay. Actually, a large. Let me get a large. Sorry All about right, that. Anything else for you? Uh, that's it. All right, it's gonna be nice time at the yeah. other window. All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And as you can see, you guys went ahead and ordered that uh, delicious breakfast. I usually go, I usually stop here in the mornings. Uh, to get my Starbucks kind of starts my day off right Axel starts his day off too by the way um, he's always ready to uh, get some uh, pup cup uh, let me fix the camera here a little bit so you guys can see my little man right here oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't mess the camera up I'm actually shooting a GoPro too I actually have a Hero 9 my wife picked up for Christmas so uh, I have the Hero 9 putting an Axel because I think it's pretty cool to have multiple cameras and multiple situations and I also have the Samsung Note 20 something SRP DDUP uh, whatever it's called but uh, yeah Axel is going to jump up and I'm going to feed him that pup cup and he's going to actually love it but yeah man 
this is the best dog that I've purchased ever. Great companion, uh, very good temperament. Axel came to us uh, with a very good temperament, not aggressive at all. Uh, beautiful coat. I take care of his coat. I, I actually, um, when I'm feeding him, uh, coconut oil, I do salmon oil, I'm about to do some flaxseed oil, I heard flaxseed oil is also actually good too. Um, I get a lot of stuff for the hip and joints because this type of dog, this type of breed, they have a lot of problems with their, their hips. They get a lot of hip dysplasia in this animal here. So um, I'm trying to keep that down. I don't want him to get sick or ill or anything like that. So uh, definitely um, pay attention to that. Um, and, and take note too, as your dog is growing, if you have small children, try not to let them jump all over him or her because you know they're still growing and their bones are still shaping and so forth so definitely want to uh, be cognitive of that and uh, be aware of that uh, try to keep your small children off of him or her and also um, don't let your dog go up and down the stairs again that can damage their their, their growth their bones uh, their spine and so forth you know because these dogs are they get fairly heavy so you definitely want to pay close attention to that definitely and Axel is sitting there being a great 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 dog he listens he doesn't cause any kind of conflict whatsoever is which is why I love him most dearly right Axel best dog in the world and as you can see he's very alert right now because he knows he's about to get fed up up, up. <clears throat> how's it going all right all right all right thank you How you doing today? Good? I like your hat. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, nice, nice, yeah. Alright. Put this in the back, buddy. Oh, not yet, not yet. Not pop cup yet. Yeah. Alright. Not yet, Cole. No, no, not yet. Hey, that's not that. You got a pop cup too as well? Oh yeah. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, you have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Oh, sit down, my friend. Look, and let me tell you right now, Axel absolutely loves this pup cup. Let me angle it up a little bit better. I think you guys can't really see it. I'm over here messing with the camera. And there you go, buddy. Eat it up. Ah, ah, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. He loves this. He absolutely loves it. I try not to give it to him too much. Of course, you know, you don't want to give your, your animal too much sugar, but uh, he tears this up. And then I give him the cup and he's all like, yo, yo, here, look it off my bag here. Look it off my bag. Here, look it off the bag. Look it off the bag. Look it off the bag. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, got some on my bag here. Here, look it off. Yeah, got it. All right. Put that to that so I don't get messed up. Yeah, my wife got me a little coach bag and I uh, got a little whipped cream on it. That's it, bro. I don't have no more for you. Uh, 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 you want some water? You have to wait there, buddy. Oh, yeah. Mama. So now we're going to head out. And, uh, yeah, he absolutely loves it. Loves it, loves it, loves it. But anyway, getting back to the... Uh... Yeah, we just typically go... Hey, hey. Oh yeah, we typically go on little drives together. It's always good, like I say, you wanna you wanna develop a rapport with your dog. Um, definitely, if you want your dog to act a certain way, you have to spend time with him or her, because these animals require attention, require love, require understanding. Right, Axel? Mm-hmm. If you're not spending the adequate time with them, it could pose problems. So. Right now, we're just kind of driving around. I'd like to take him down to, um, we have a place called Waterford Lakes. Um, it's a little center that um, I kind of go down and I, I don't got no more for you. You can lay down. That's it, they cheat me on the cup I'm sorry. Mm -mm. But yeah, it's always good to Take your animal out. Axel actually loves to go for rides, long rides, actually. We went to Georgia about two months ago, two or three months ago, and he rode me, he, he rode me the entire way. It was a five-hour drive. He didn't bark. 
he didn't he wasn't jumping around in the car it was the most peaceful driving i was in the honda civic right this big dog here axel in a honda civic and did not do all of what i just said it's amazing mm -hmm. absolutely incredible mm -hmm. yeah we just kind of go for a drive right now i just left the house and uh i'm just rolling right now rolling my boy axel but yeah if you're in the market of getting this beautiful specimen of a dog definitely um do your research all right she's mm, good they have multiple breeds okay well i was told that axel's german is serbian they have american they have all kinds of different um types and um if you go to my website www.rottwallaceoflorida.com I have that information on there so you can definitely keep up with that um, on my on my blog and also have a, a Instagram I mean actually a Facebook page and a YouTube channel and so forth so um, a lot of information that can be coming out this year and uh, I'm actually looking to try to prolong this animal's life so I've been experimenting with different ways to feed him just trying to make his life better, that's all. That's what it's about. I mean, we all want to live longer, right? And we all want our animals to live longer as well, so. Um, it's always good to do things differently than the norm. Because there's no reason why this dog shouldn't live longer than 10 to 13 years, you know? There's no reason why this dog shouldn't live any longer. That's such a weird thing to me. Mm -hmm. I kind of look at the Rottweiler as a bear, you know, you got those grizzly bears in Alaska and all this other stuff. Now, I think this animal has the same qualities as far as the hibernation uh, quality. They sleep a lot as because they're growing. So I think there's qualities in there that are somewhat the same. So I therefore think that the dog's life expectancy can be uh, definitely prolonged and healthy too not not sick healthy that's what I'm talking about healthy mm -hmm. so this is a little vibe you guys nothing serious just kind of shooting the shit with uh, my buddy here mm -hmm. and another thing people people always talk about the health of the dog but you see them feeding hamburgers and not hamburgers but just junk food Try not to feed your dog junk food. And if you bring a dog for the first time, whether it be a Rottweiler or any other type of breed, and you have kids, make it known not to give the dog anything other than the food that it's supposed to be eating. Right? And I made that clear to my five-year-old and my eight-year-old, that or seven-year-old, that it's important not to feed him other than his dog food because he can get sick and, and possibly, you know, expire. So. You definitely want to keep that in mind. Right, Axel? And oh, by the way, my boy snores too. And he snores loud like a, like a human being, man. It's crazy. But I love him to death, though. So. And also, he's downstairs. So I'm here. <laughs> but yeah, we're over here heading out. And I just drove down here. Here's my Trenti Mango Jackfruit Lemonade Light Ice Pro. You cannot go wrong with this, y'all. Best drink, I tell you. Best drink. So good. Oh, and another thing, uh, I know a lot of people are uh, like, man, why do I always have to get these, these these tickets at these lights, right? So there's an app called Waze. I don't know if you ever heard of it before, but it's uh, an app that you can actually download to uh, when you're traveling and so forth, and it helps. Uh, cut down on you getting speeding tickets because it actually tells you where the cops are on the highway. <laughs> I think that's an ingenious idea. Whoever came up with that app, man, I got to give it to them, man. They have saving people money on a daily. Because right now it's January, what, 27th, man, or 26th or 27th or whatever. And let me tell you right now, the cops are always out at the end of the month and everybody should know that. Everybody should know that. But anyway, it's not about me. It's about Axel. <laughs> kind of going off on a tangent. 
But uh, yeah, I got this lovely harness for him. Um, I like the harness that I got for him. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Um, but yeah, this harness right here is amazing. I have more control of him. It's got Velcro along the sides here. And um, I actually like the leash as well. The leash is pretty damn good as well. Um, but this harness is very sturdy. It has some like ventilation to it so the dog's not gonna overheat. And I don't know, as you know, all Rottweilers have, are double coated dogs. So they have two coats. So you definitely wanna make sure that you can stay up with that. Um, if you have any family members that have allergies, um, you want to keep the, 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 the hair down. Um, you can get what's called a few minute, a few minute, a ferminator or whatever. And then also, uh, you know, you want to take your dog and, you know, to the, to the, to the, the groomer at least once a month, get him groomed up, keeps that coat healthy, keeps the skin healthy. So these are just some things that I would recommend for anybody that has a dog currently or is getting a dog. Got to stay up with those things. But yeah, we just went around a little circle, and um, now I'm going to DPK, or that's the elementary school to get my five-year-old. All right, it's a beautiful day today, I can tell you. And I also think, oh, check this out. I'm also thinking about getting this motorcycle for him, for a well, motorcycle. I think it'd be really cool. Um, it's not, I'm not getting, it's not just a regular motorcycle, but it's going to have a carriage on the side. So I'm going to actually look into saving up for that and uh, make that purchase. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, I want to give this guy the best life ever. You know, I'm, of course I'm going to train him and, uh, you know, do all the things that I need to do for him. But I'm, I'm really looking at giving this guy the best life that he can, you know, possibly have. Um, I do things with him. I play with him in the backyard. I, I, you know, I spend a lot of time with him because it's very important for his temperament that I spend the needed time with him so that he is, you know, calm and, and feels safe. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of the things that a, a normal human being would want to have, you know, the same thing. Everybody wants the same thing, you know. Even animals, believe it or not, even animals want to feel loved and feel safe and everything. So, you know, I take them out with me. I don't leave them at the house in a cage all day. And I mean, you can. If you want a mean and angry and, and vicious animal, you can leave them in the cage all day. But I take them out with me when I go places and so forth. So, you know, that's what you want to do. You want to definitely spend as much time with your animal because they're going to give it, they're going to return the favor. Um, you know, if anything goes down, you're going to return the favor and go make sure they, they take care of you as well. So, if you take really good care of your animal, your Rottweiler, then they're gonna take real damn good care of you because I'm telling you right now, this animal will die for you, okay? He or she will die for you and they won't even think twice about it, you know? And that's better than any human friend. I'm telling you right now, better than any human friend. Right, Axel? He's just sitting here looking at me. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's a really, really good dog, I tell you. And I also gotta, like I say, this leash right here is a seat belt too, so he's strapped up too. So, you know, I'm really looking out for his, his best interests and safety uh, when I strap them up, you know. So yeah, one thing I know with this type of breed, with this type of dog, uh, Axel being a Rottweiler, um, when I take him onto school grounds, um, I'm not allowed to bring him out of the vehicle onto the school grounds because of the type of animal he is, and because simply the fact that his jaws lock like the pit bull. So when I go to you know take these, take him up to pick up my son, I have to leave him in the car, but I always make sure the windows are down. So. You know, he can get some air and so forth, so it's not too hot right now. So, But when it does start getting hot, I'm not going to bring him with me because here in Florida, it gets, it gets insanely hot, and I do not want to leave in the car with the windows down at all. I mean, you know, you hear the news, you know, people leaving kids and animals and cars, and it does not go well here in the state of Florida, any hot state. Mm. Yeah, this thing is so good, y'all. This is a Trente Mango Dragon Fruit Lemonade Light Ice. Um... Wonderful drink. Mm -hmm. Axel's just looking out the window. You want some, yeah, put some window down so you get some window love. Some, some breeze out there. You want to turn the AC down too? Oh, oh look at that young. Yep. So, but yeah, we're just driving around. 
Also, I don't know if you guys know, man, but uh, freaking Starbucks has the best water too. So if you want to uh, stay hydrated on a hot, sunny day, definitely stop by Starbucks. They have some of the best water that you can even. I mean, it's even better than some of the water they sell at the dog on uh, supermarkets, man. It's like Fiji. Oh, let me put the window up. A little windy out there. Can't hear what I'm saying. Man, this traffic's picking up today. Yep. But I did a video yesterday on, you know, buying a new dog, buying a new puppy, or buying a new Rottweiler, and the things that you should and should not do. And I did kind of go over, when I kind of, I went over uh, people taking their dogs or their puppies to dog parks when they're sick or young and not having the shots and everything. That's the worst thing that you can do for an animal. You're putting your animal in grave danger when you do that. It's not cool. It's not. It's not something that you should do. You should think about it because viruses and bacteria and germs travel from one specimen to the next. So definitely want to take that into consideration. And I am running low on gas. My gas light just came on. So when I get back up this way, I gotta go hit that 7-Eleven and get some gas. But yeah. So I just want to kind of show you guys what we typically do here in the mornings. Me and my my buddy Axel. And he loves laying his head on this little armrest here and, uh, you know, kind of hanging out, which is really cool, man. It's really cool. He's got to be the most calm dog that I've ever, ever owned in my entire life. Definitely, definitely, definitely the calmest. Calm than the kids, too, to be honest with you. So, yeah. I'm going to be turning right here and uh, yeah, just kind of hang out a little bit. No biggie. Right, Axel? Yeah, he usually gets up in the morning. He'll come and wake me up. He'll come and lick me in my face. Come up to the bed. He he brings socks and stuff to me. So I think it's kind of ironic that he knows that he's, you know, he's actually telling me, hey, get up. I'm, I'm ready to go outside, get some fresh air. And so forth. But we're pulling up in the school here and um, I'll chop it up with you guys here in a bit. Yeah, Axel, we're pulling up to the school. He's getting all excited. He said, we're going up to school for real, for real. Right. Put the camera on him, man. It's on you, bro. And I got these patches here. You can get these uh, off of Amazon. And I'll provide the link for some of this stuff here. Like I said, for the vest and where I purchased it. And very sturdy. He doesn't complain about it. It's very comfortable. And man, Axel has some really big paws too, you guys. Got some really, really big cars. It's gonna be a big boy, right? It's gonna be a real big boy. Yeah. And no, he's not a service dog. <laughs> I just like the colors and the vest, and kind of looks really, really nice with his. You know, gives him a really good disposition. I, I think makes him look very important and strong and alert. The whole nine yards. I really, really love this guy. He's my best friend. You wanna give me your hand? Can I get your paw? You gonna give me paw? Huh? You gonna give me paw? No paw? No paw? Can I get a paw? Can I get paw? Hey, can I get paw? Can I get paw? So we're pulling up to the school now. Oh, look, he's got his dog out there. Look at that. Another dog. Mm. Hey, I love your dog. Oh. <laughs> I have a big one, too. <laughs> Sit down. Hey, 
And of course, Axel went crazy because there's a police officer here. And Axel saw him and started barking. And uh, he's right over there. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me turn the camera around. I don't want to stop recording. And the police officer is right over there with his K9. He has actually a K9. He's a caution K9. And. Axel, back up. <laughs> oh. It's okay. It's okay. See the protection mode? Even though it's a police officer, he still reacted. He was in the car! And the sheriff had his. So you see, these dogs are very alert. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Man. Okay. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Man, he jumped up, didn't he, y'all? He got real. He got crunk. He got crunk, didn't he? You got crunk, Axel? Huh? You got crunk? You got crunk, Axel? I didn't even know it was even showing. You got crunked, Axel? Huh? Man. You was barking up a storm, weren't you? Yeah. Axel, like, I ain't playing that. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Yeah, you saw that big dog, huh? I don't know if I got all of it right here. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, he he, he jumped up when he saw that dead jumper shepherd. Man, he tear the jumper shepherd up full size. Beat that dog up. Yeah, so uh, that's one thing. I can't bring him out of the car. The police officer has a jumper shepherd. He's allowed to bring him out of the car because he's the sheriff. Okay, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> But I guarantee you, Axel in about a year from now will tear that dog up. Probably kill the dog. But, you know, that's not what we're here for, you know. But these dogs are very um, protective. As you can see, he jumped up and went crazy. Yeah, buddy, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's just another dog doing his job. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, see? You gotta calm him down. He got a little excited, got a little rambunctious. And you see, you guys, again, this is a really good animal. He's gonna protect you. She's gonna protect you. And that's it. He's, he's, his disposition is really crazy, right? Because he'll be sitting down like he was, like you guys saw, and uh, not really doing much. And then once he sees something or he feels a threat, as you can see, he reacted. <laughs> it's okay. So yeah, I'm glad I got that on video. Oh look, Axel, there's a plane right there. Look at these clouds are moving pretty fast too. Looks like it's gonna be a very windy day. It's okay. He's got a long tongue, doesn't he, guys? A real long tongue. So yeah, we just kind of drive around and uh, do little things here and there, but yeah. You wanna hear some music? Let me stop. I don't want to get this video flagged. <laughs> you know, copyright. But yeah, he has some very big paws. Let me show you guys how big his paws are. Look at his paws. See? Axel has some really, really big paws. Alright. Hey, buddy. Hi, and I hope you guys, I hope you got that bark on there. Hi. And. Let me show you how big his paws are. See? He's gonna be a big guy. You don't want me to give me your paw. Give me your paw. He doesn't like paw. For whatever reason, his front paws, he doesn't really like me to touch him a lot. So I don't really mess with him a whole lot. Yeah. But outside of that, he loves his head to be scratched. He loves when I scratch his, his big, big hag. <laughs> All right? All right, buddy? We're gonna go in there in a little bit. But uh, yeah, again, <clears throat> there's the K9 unit over there. 
Caution Canine Sheriff Orange County. And uh, the dog's name is Blaze. Oh, very nice. Making a difference. That's what, I, that's what counts. Blaze. All right. And my dog's name is Axel. Right. He's a Roddy. He's alert now. He saw the other dog and he's just like, I'm not sitting down. I saw the other dog and that got him all crunked up. Ooh. Ooh, a nice big yawn. Are you tired? So anyway, here's my Hero 9. It's also recording, so uh, I'll be getting footage from this and also from uh, my recording device here. I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm using to record, but it's pretty clear. Yeah, you like it? Nice and clear? So yeah. That, that uh, officer was like, whoa! All right. You are my destiny. And uh, oh yeah, let me tell you guys about this, right? So this is about a month or two ago. You know these dogs lose their teeth, right? And let me tell you right now, it is like a razor blade. It's like a razor blade. He lost one of his teeth and it fell onto my carpet. I'm actually glad that I stepped on it because if anybody else stepped on it, it would have went horribly wrong. But I think it was one of his canines. Yeah, one of his canines. I don't know. It might have been one of his canines that came out. But I stepped on it. And it went through my foot and I was bleeding. What is that over there? Hmm? Look me. Yep, see? Gave me a lick on my face. But yeah, I stepped on the canine, went through my foot. Man, them sheeps are sharp. But that just goes to show you the, the uh, <laughs> it's like razors, man. And then the, the bite pressure of a Rottweiler is 328 PSI's. Can you imagine 328 PSI's coming down on your arm? 328 PSI's. Okay, I know what 315 feels like when I'm benching it. And I'm only able to do it one or two times. And that's a lot of weight. That's 315. So 328 PSI's. Can you imagine that coming down on your arm or your leg? Or your neck? Whoa. You got a little bit of rambunctious there, buddy. You okay? Huh? You okay there, buddy? You got a little bit of rambunctious there. Got jumped up on me there. Huh? I'm going to tell you all one thing about this uh, Trente Mango Dragon Fruit Lemonade Light Ice. It's got berries in it. And let me tell you right now, if you're having problems with your stomach, okay, if you're having problems with your stomach, this is the best drink right here. This is a detox. This is the, this detoxes your system. It detoxes your system. So it cleans you out, basically. <laughs> cleans you out. But yeah, I don't give this to Axel because, of course, he's not human. But I do feed him human food. <clears throat> Some of the foods that I feed him, um, if you're interested... And, um, oh yeah, I didn't really talk about the barf diet or the, you know, what the barf diet is. So the barf diet, if, if y'all are curious, uh, that's when you feed your dog or, or your animal um, raw food like steak, deer meat. I feed him boar meat. I feed him fish, Alaskan salmon, the whole nine yards. This dog gets it all. He gets it all. <clears throat> and I do this before his, his health, especially the fish. They have the omega-3s, the fatty acids. It's really good for the heart. The oils are really good for the digestive system, the organs and stuff like that. Keeps everything nice, you know, and healthy. Right, Axel? And he's appreciating me for that. But he's got his eye on that sheriff's car right now. I could guarantee you that. He's not letting that guy, that, 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 uh, go. Because he knows exactly where he saw it. And he's got his head locked on this. So he's not going to be laying down in the car. But he got really aggressive, you guys. He got really, really aggressive. I can tell you that. I was pretty, uh, impressed with that. That was a really, uh good thing I, and that is a good feeling for me because it just goes to show you that he's looking out for me and even though the the it wasn't an eminent threat he still reacted which is what you want your animal to do you want your animal to react when something comes up that is foreign to him and he may feel maybe a threat to you there was another like I said there was a police officer right here with his dog okay and um, he felt that was a, a threat you know because he saw another dog and yeah, you know, I don't really know what what goes on in, in, in you know these animals' heads, but it's a good thing because you know it just shows that he's being he's very alert, he's aware of his surroundings, and I really appreciate that. I really do, Axel. I love you for it. Yep. See, so he's he's kind of he's panning and, and definitely looking back and forth, and yeah, he's doing it all. He's in protection mode right now. I think he's in protection mode, right? That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Hello? 
I'm eating finished early. Do you want me to go get Cole? I'm already here. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh my God! So I pulled up. I pulled up to the, the elementary school, right? So there's a cop outside with his canine, right? Walk, running around the grass, and Axel to me. Axel literally jumped out of the passenger seat and was like, rah, 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 rah. He jumping up in the car and stuff. And I was like, oh, and the cop was looking at me. <laughs> but he has his canine. Oh. Yeah. Did so, he, huh? Did you bring him over or no? I can't take the dog out the car. It's against the law. It's against Orange County um, policy. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's illegal for me to take him onto the, the school grounds because he's not certified and all this other stuff. So I cannot take him out and have him walk on the school grounds. Oh, I thought he took him out and walked him. Well, that's before. Before I was doing that, and then one of the teachers inside told me that I, I couldn't have this type of dog on campus because of, you know, the jaw locking yeah. and all this other stuff. So okay. they're not allowed, allowed to be on, on, on school grounds. Anywhere, and any, any school grounds in Orange County, whether it be a high school, a middle school, or elementary school. Uh -huh. Not allowed to have oh. unless unless he's a service dog or unless he's a police officer or or, or uh, you know a uh, first responder animal. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. You didn't know that, did you? No, I. Yeah. So that's how that goes. Mm-hmm. Oh, he yeah, he got him. huh? You just leave him in the car. Yeah, I leave him in the car and I put the window down a little bit and stuff. I even turn off the car because I don't want him hitting the you know the the reverser you know. And then the car starts to go reverse and crash into somebody else. So I just turn, I put the windows down and I turn off the car. All right. Yep, but I'm about to go inside and um, uh, get cold. But I, you know what's so funny? I, I recorded the whole thing, so I've been recording. So the whole thing I caught on video with him jumping up. Rawr, rawr. Uh. So I'm posting that video. Is that lady? Look, don't. Is that? She looks like the girl that comes to pick up her daughter. Is that her? No, it's just strange. You know the uh, the I don't know. I'm gonna go in here real quick. Get my mask. Well, man, Axel got. He's still Axel's still looking at that vehicle right now. He's still looking at the cops car. <laughs> yep. He's gonna be man. He got into protection mode. That was crazy. Mm. I'm gonna put my mask on. But all right, I'll hit you up. I'm gonna go get Cole. All right, I love you. I love you. So as you guys can see, I got my mask on now. Got my little Under Armour mask. These are pretty bad masks. I love them. Um, definitely could breathe in these. These are the masks, man. They just cover your face and just. Oh, this Miss Batter. This uh, Mazda's teacher. Oh, there she comes. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if she saw me, but she's definitely walking this way. Like, uh, yeah. But yeah. So we're about to go in here in the school and. Pick up Cole, it's 1105. And that is Miss Batter. Yep. All right. All right, Cole. I mean, I'm gonna leave the camera on you guys so you can see exactly what Axel's doing in the car. Um, I really don't know what he's gonna do, but uh, just gonna leave the windows down a little bit too as well so you can Get some fresh air right there and yeah, right there all right I'm put the back one on too there buddy so i'll be back all right axel you be good okay daddy will be back so i'm gonna leave it recording guys and uh you turn it over here can't it over here as much as i possibly can i want you guys to see how he's gonna oh shoot can i make this any looser Oh, there you go. Let me I can't take over that anymore. I think that's as far as it goes. There we go. Alrighty. So at least you guys can see what he's doing or how he's going to react. If I'm gone. Too long. Huh. Alright. Alright, Axel. Daddy will be back, okay?
So anyway, you guys, this concludes today's vlog. If you like what you've seen today, please remember to comment, subscribe, share this uh, video, and uh, that's it. Peace out.